you know, uh, you're a busy man, I know that. I mean, you do kids' TV as well as TV yeah. there for the moment. There's a, I did this kids, yeah. No, it's a strange thing to do. That's a, it strikes me as a quite an unusual thing to do. I mean, I saw some of them, I thought they were very funny, but it's a weird thing to see a comedian who has, you know, an adult audience, which seems to be what people aspire to, going kind of back to doing kids' mm. TV. How did it come about? Well, just someone at ITV said, oh, you know, have you thought about doing anything for kids? And then we had the meeting and they seemed really keen. So we did, I did this um, 13 episodes of this show, Shark Infested Custard, Fridays, half past four. And it was a kind of a crackerjacky thing. I thought, you know, I'll make what I kind of liked as a kid. And it, so it sort of looks like something that was made in the 70s but was never broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, you know, it's, uh, we've got a big finale at the end, you know, singing. I mean, we did a Coldplay finale with me dressed as Chris <laughs> singing in that kind of cracker jacky style of you know birds fly out at the speed of sound <laughs> 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 you know everyone sort of, and the big ending you know like that yeah but the, now what did the kids make of it all because presumably I would have thought a kids mm. audience hated I mean, you know. it. the kids hated it <laughs> <laughs> well it was difficult you know we did it in front of it I said oh we'll get kids in you know we'll yeah. get the kids in the audience and we'll do it for kids and I didn't, you know, I mean, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about how kids were, you know, I've got kids. Yeah. But, and they came out the first night, right? I come out there and the kids are just crazy, screaming. Their faces are red, sweat pouring down their faces. <laughs> ah, like a Harry, Harry. And uh, I mean, it was frightening. And um, I said to the warm up, and they wouldn't laugh. They didn't really laugh. And I said to the warm up man afterwards, I said, you know what, uh, why are those kids kind of so manic? And he said, well, we keep them in a kind of holding area before the show. He said, and we give them Haribo's crisps and Coca-Cola. Coca right? So by the time they come out, they're just nuts. <laughs> and so I said, OK, well, we'll get a piece of card with laugh on, right? right. And so I would do a joke, the uh, warm-up man hold up the thing, laugh, and they go, ah, ha, 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 and they, just, <laughs> they would do it to order. Are you going to do more stuff with kids? It sounds like it was a fairly traumatic experience for you, if anything. No, it was fun. It was great fun, you know. And I mean, I think the shows are really funny. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's not like a conscious uh, career no. move. If but I, I uh, admire you for it. You know what's yeah. lovely is you've taken yeah. it on as you would any other job. And you haven't said this is for kids, it shouldn't be the yeah. same. You've made something you would want to watch. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. And I was talking to a little eight-year-old girl there, thinking, you know, I said to her, you know, what do you, what, what do you find funny on TV? It was just a little girl in the queue waiting to go in. And she said, um, jackass. <laughs> That's what you're up against. Eight years old. That's what the kids want to say. Friend. Yeah, but probably from a common family, I would have thought. Maybe. Yeah. It was a school we had in St. Chav's. Well, that's it. <laughs> well, I'm from Chavy Roots myself. Are you? Are yeah. you quite posh initially, do you think? Not really, but we were kind of led to believe we were, then we found out we weren't. <laughs> that's that kind of lower middle class, you know, that sort of middle class thing, you know. Why are they getting bigger presents than us, Mum? They eat differently. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, Harry, it's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you for coming on the show. Not at all. The DVD's great fun. Thank you, yeah. Uh, I think this is, I've had a lot of DVDs out, and I think this is probably the best one. You know, this is, some, the nights you record them, it's all kind of resting on that night, and often it's a bit of a slow one. Yeah. But I think this one was quite a good night in the end, yeah. Did you actually get to ride on on a small pony? Uh, well, we had, we had a live pony toured with us, the, all the dates, but we always had a bloke in a horse suit just in case the pony refused at the last minute. And uh, to be honest, you know, out of 70 odd dates, I think there weren't any where the horse actually came on. It was pretty much me on the man, on the back of the man in the horse. Yeah. And, uh, pretty much 100%. Yeah, but you know what? Still a great start to an evening's entertainment. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a national treasure, Mr. Harry Hill. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. 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 Thank you.